Hey there smartphone fans, welcome back to Smartphone Wars. This is your only runner and tech smartphone expert Steve Fox and today I'll be doing an episode of Phone Tech Talk and I'll be talking about the new MTK chips, the Helio P22 and the Helio A22. So what do they bring? Why should we be excited about it? And why is Xiaomi back using MediaTek for the mainstream phones? Are customers not going to be disappointed? I think they won't be because MediaTek is definitely on the right track with these chips and do you follow because I'll try to answer as much questions as possible. So, so the Redmi 6 and Redmi 6A are the fact now, they've both launched and they're both really good offerings as like 360 and people that devices. To the like huge, like gigantic surprise to everybody. Xiaomi are back to using MediaTek chips like they did with the Redmi series, uh, Redmi 1, Redmi 2, everything before Redmi 3 used the AMTK chip inside. What does this mean? This means that uh, MediaTek are now on the right track and Xiaomi recognize that and naturally it's because those chips are cheaper than the Snapdragon chips as well. And what well, I think the real reason is uh, uh, although the new MediaTek chips are probably very good, is because uh, the only alternative that is doing a Snapdragon 625 phone, and uh, people are so fed up with Xiaomi over using the Snapdragon 625 that they'll just like see a Snapdragon 625, see a Xiaomi device, and like, no, no, I'm doing the Snapdragon 625, I need something new. And Xiaomi actually really told them about that, and that's why they use the Helio P22 in the Redmi 6 and the Helio A22 in the Redmi 6A. So let me try to explain those chips by starting with the Helio P22. So Helio P22 is what it is. It's actually Xiaomi's uh, um, slightly arguably better version of the Snapdragon 625. <laughs> it really is. It really is that. Even the CPU configuration is absolutely the same. It's an octa core, like 8 core, 8, A53 cores, clocking 2 gigahertz. Mm, where have you seen that? In the Snapdragon 625 is where you've seen that. Um, jokes aside, the Helio P22 is made on a lower propagation process. It's made on TCMC 12 nanometer, where, where the Snapdragon 625 is made on 14 nanometer process. So theoretically, this should be around 10% better efficiency to the Helio P22 uh, if both chips are built exactly with the same silicon, like the same number of transistors inside, but it is definitely not the case. What does uh, MediaTek actually bring with the Helio P22 besides that same optical configuration, the Snapdragon 625? Well, for starters, the both P22 and A22 and the 6739 before that and the Helio X30 all used PowerVR graphics. This is Imaginations. PowerVR graphics chips, which uh, used to be iPhone exclusive until the last iPhone when Apple decided to do their own GPU. So, why MediaTek switched to PowerVR graphics? Um, same reason Xiaomi switched to MediaTek, probably because it's cheaper, probably because, it, because it's something new, and tech experts like me love testing new tech. Uh, yeah, it could be. Uh, for years now, I think that PowerVR have actually did the best performance uh, and power consumption in like graphics uh, chips for uh, power efficient devices and that's why Apple in the iPhone originally used them and while they were still using it until a year back. So the power and graphics should be definitely good. What was the problem with them before? It was drivers because uh, they used to have a lot of uh, uh, game engines really don't support all the tech and they were like technical glitches. Unfortunately, after I tested the MTK 6739 in the Umi DG8 1 Pro, I noticed still some graphical glitches, uh, and that is using the PowerVR uh, G8000 and 100, which is based on the same series uh, GPUs that the P22 and A22 are using. So uh, definitely have that like a big watch out for for graphical glitches in game engines which don't support PowerVR tech, and they also could be uh, games that won't run on these chips at all because this was the, one of the original issues as well. We used to get like when you downloaded a game, you used to have a separate uh, engine library for the Adreno graphics, separate uh, 
uh, engine library for the Matic graphics and for the Power API graphics. So hopefully everything is running Vulkan soon and we can forget about that. So uh, Power API definitely very strong with running Vulkan and OpenGL applications. So in technically speaking, they should be superior to the ARMS Matic code because let's face it, ARMS Matic code is not really that good. For ages, Samsung has been cramming those calls in those high-end phones and sold this uh, Huawei and uh, every time, yeah, it, they still get very close to what the Adreno graphics can do and uh, what the Pavia graphics in theoretical benchmarks but in real-world performance, uh, cramming a lot of Matic cores in there results in uh, chip overheating, car attempts and more battery consumption during gaming. So it really makes sense to me to move to the Power VR graphics, hope they fix their drivers and they can move on with it. So what is the aim for the Helio P22 chip? Uh, it is to muscle itself where the Snapdragon 625, 630 and uh, on a price point just below the Snapdragon 636. Uh, and it should deliver similar performance. It's called Hero P22 for a reason, so um, it will definitely score a little bit less in Antutu than Hero P23, which scores around 80,000 points in Antutu, so definitely around 75, 73,000 points in Antutu should be the normal score for the Hero P22, which is not bad. Uh, they have a 4 core power VR. 8320 GPU inside that, so this should theoretically be in line with the Adreno 506 and probably 509 GPUs, which in the Snapdragon 625 and Snapdragon uh, 630. So, theoretically, it should be getting the same performance overall as the Snapdragon 625 or 630 in general. But what features does it have then those chips don't have? Well, for starters, it does have. Uh, Samsung 625 doesn't have it, does have Bluetooth 5.0, it does have a newer, better modem uh, than all the MTK chips, and it does support the latest uh, technologies uh, like it support Pump Express, which is the quick charging feature, it does support the Core Pilot, which is the advanced uh, um, efficiency expert in controlling the core's voltage and frequency, and importantly, it does support the uh, AI capabilities from the high-end chips uh, so the Hero P22 will be and the A22 will come with a natural face ID unlock so this means uh, that inside the chip is the software algorithm and hardware algorithm are built inside to support images uh, to work with AI so this means that uh, they will have uh, better cameras because they will can get more out of a camera sensor than any MTK chip before that could I'm talking about Hero P23, I'm talking about the P25, and especially the older ones like the P20, and uh, especially the uh, overhated uh, 6750, which uh, smartphone manufacturers should definitely use it. Stop using six MTK 6750T in your phones, let the chip die already. So yeah, uh, the Hero P25 uh, definitely has all features, it's definitely going to be efficient and uh, a very decent chip to have in your phone around $150 to $200 price point uh, but it's definitely not going to be as good as Snapdragon 636 when it comes to performance, especially gaming performance uh, it might be better efficient but it's definitely not going to be faster than that Now let's talk about the Helio A22 so why is it the A22? It really makes sense because the P is performance, A is uh, Amplitude, I really don't care. The Helio A22 is a 4 core configuration. Uh, I've read rumors it's built on the same 12 nanometer fabrication process with tuning. If that is true, that the chip is like super efficient because uh, for A53 cores clocked at 2 GHz is really good performance, guys, on like entry level phones. I'm talking about 100 to 120 dollar phones here. So CV performance will be enough for opening closing caps, knowing your daily tasks should run all fine video, should be processed definitely, it should be able to encode video, like full HD video, no issues at all. Uh, it won't support, both of these chips don't support uh, higher than uh, I think 1600 by what's the standard, 200, 1200 and something. 
So both phones don't, don't have built-in support for full HD resolution. So don't expect seeing phones that have full HD, full HD plus resolution on these devices. So the A22 again, still uh, supporting all these features like natural face unlock, uh, AI capabilities like uh, recognizing the scene, applying certain filters to it to make the photo look better. Uh, it will get the most out of the, the camera sensor inside and definitely have uh, superior photo quality, faster shutter speed and faster focus. Then if you put the same camera sensor in like A22, P22 and say Helio P25 which is before that. So this means uh, better cameras for your reach, your phones, uh, better performance, probably not, but much better efficiency thanks to the power of your graphics, thanks to the 12 nanometer fabrication process and you get the uh, fast charging Helio MediaTek's Pump Express feature, you get Bluetooth 5.0 which is for me is very important, it should have been standard for all chips by now. You get a slightly better model than the previous generation, so you get faster upload and download speed. Oh, yeah, and both the A22 and the P22 now have uh, dual 4G and dual voltage support as well. So you get a lot of really good features with those chips. Mm -hmm. What's really bothering me about the, uh, the uh, A22, the Helio A22, is that MediaTek have undisclosed the GPU inside. They say it's a PowerVR G graphics in there. It's definitely not the 8100 the same using the 6739, but it's definitely not going to be the 8320 used in the P P22. So I'm guessing somewhere in between. So it probably should like uh, have the 8210. I think there's an 8210 power of the IG, which should have a really decent 3D performance, but nothing uh, really really good. Considering that both chips can do full HD, you're looking at around uh, probably just bearable frame rates in like uh, medium to high end 3D games on Android settings on Android. It's really not talking much, so I'm not expecting the P22 and the A22 to be gaming oriented phones. I expect them to be AI oriented, I'm expecting them to be camera oriented, uh, connectivity oriented because they have Bluetooth 5.0, they have uh, by the upload and download speeds, they have a new modem, they are much more efficient than the previous versions, uh, MTK chips with new 12 nanometer process mode, but they are not going to be gaming centric devices. So, if you're looking for a more gaming centric phone in that price category, I suggest you probably look to the Snapdragon 636 and like shell for 30 40 more dollars and get a Snapdragon 636 phone like the Lenovo Z5, uh, like the Asus uh, Max Pro M1 which are 190 to 200 dollar phones because the Helio P22 is aiming around 150 160 dollar phones so if those 30 40 dollars I'm pretty sure anybody can say those up uh, if he's a gamer and get the Snapdragon 636 because it will be vastly superior in gaming to the Helio P22 and Helio A22 chips so this has been Stephen Fox uh, take for watching my Helio P22 and Helio A22 uh, preview both detailly explained in my video here. I hope I answered most of your questions. If I haven't answered some of them, please leave a comment below and I'm pretty sure I can get around to answering that in a minute. Uh, I haven't tested any phone with those chips, uh, so I really am speaking about like theoretically here in numbers, but there's already Helio P22 devices out like the Vivo E83 and uh, of course not really now the Redmi 6. Uh, I will definitely order Redmi 6 and 6A or probably one of those to like fully test the chip but I appreciate it's going to be a really solid uh, uh, budget to entry level phone chip so MediaTek are doing well, PowerVR graphics interesting but uh, for me definitely means that uh, they're stepping out of the gaming oriented areas and I really do hope that those past graphical glitches have been fixed with uh, PowerVR's drivers and new architectures and we don't see a lot of unsupported games or like technical glitches inside those games like uh, uh, unrendered uh, textures and stuff like that. So thank you for watching my Helio P2020 Helio A22 preview. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel if you like what you see. Check out my other tech reviews, uh, check out my other tech talk videos and uh, if you like what you see subscribe to my channel.